Hello everyone, uh, Clint here. Uh, today I want to talk about editing video and how I use one of the things I use my Z Fold 3 for all the time and that is editing vi video. I've been asked a few times how I edit my videos uh, for YouTube and what kind of computer I use if I'm a Mac person or a PC person and actually I am a neither person. <laughs> I don't actually own a computer. Um, that's my per, uh, personal computer. Uh, I use my uh, Z Fold uh, 3 for pretty much everything. Um, man, when you hook it up to DeX, um, you know, DeX is basically a computer system. I don't have any issues just using that uh, for pretty much everything I do um, is with uh, either the Z Fold sitting on the couch or uh, the Z Fold 3 uh, connected to DeX. So today I just wanted to real quickly uh, edit a video um, just to show how, really how easy it is, uh, even on your um, phone, um, as you're wondering why I got an iPhone here. And I can tell you, most of the time um, I'm filming with my iPhone, uh, not because I think the Z Fold 3 uh, doesn't do a good job, because it does a fantastic job. It's just I'm usually talking about the Z Fold 3. Um, and so um, I'm, also, I'm often using my iPhone. Uh, for the video itself. Uh, since the iPhone's down here and the Z Fold 3's down here, so now I'm uh, video recording off the Z Flip 3 uh, in 4K30. If uh, you're wondering there, I think uh, the Z Flip uh, does a great job too. Uh, but if it, do if it doesn't, or if it does, let me know in the comments. But first thing I wanna do is talk about how to get um, your, um, someday fingerprint will work on there, how to get your, uh, data from here to here really easily. Um, and of course, everybody in the Apple ecosystem, they know they have AirDrop. So if I was going to AirDrop this to my iPad, which I uh, have not used for video editing, uh, my iPad Mini 6, um, I'll tell you why I have an iPad Mini 6 uh, and a Z Fold 3. Uh, that's going to be another video um, because uh, I do use them all. But for some reason, I really like to just use my Z Fold 3 because of DeX mostly, because uh, DeX works so good. I could uh, DeX it up and, and uh, get really into it if I want to. Anyway, so the first thing we need to do is get the files. Um, and I use an app because we can't airdrop from an Apple phone to uh, an Android phone. Uh, I use an app called Send Anywhere. I don't know if anybody's uh, heard of this. Uh, I could do a separate review on this if you, uh, if you wanted to see it but it works fantastic. You pull it up and you have um, this little thing here where you have your photos, your videos, uh, whatever you need there. Uh, and I'm just gonna do a, a little case review that I did um, uh, for the Z Flip 3. Uh, so you can watch me edit it and then uh, hopefully maybe when I, when I get it uploaded, you can uh, watch it uploaded also too. Uh, but all you do is you just select the video you want. As you can see, this is 1.51 gigabytes. So it's not a small file by any means. And then you hit the send. And then it gives you this little uh, uh, code right here. And then you just open send anywhere on your fold and you say you wanna receive, as you can see, you've got the receive button down here. Uh, and then it's gonna ask you for that key. Or you, what I like to do is just scan it and you can see how fast it's scanned. And now it is scanning and you can see how smoking fast that downloads. I say it's just as fast as AirDrop. Um, or any other kind of way of doing it, whether you want to like put a wire between the two phones, because that's a possibility. Um, you can put your, uh, but not a real great one. Uh, so as you can tell, this is going to download in about a minute and a half. And I'll come back once that's downloaded um, and we'll get started on um, doing some uh, editing. Okay, we are complete. Uh, like I said, just took a couple minutes, pretty good. Um, so now we're gonna open up the app of choice for me, and that is Kind Master. Um, I watched a video from Josh Keones, his channel uh, one day, and he used this to edit a video, and I thought, man, if he can do that, I can do that. So uh, I really liked it, uh, and I, I'm kind of addicted to it now, and this is pretty much what I use most of the time. As you can see, all my video projects are in there. Um, uh, so this works uh, really great for me. It's super easy to learn. Um, and so we're just gonna hit create new, 16 by nine, uh, photo display mode, photo duration, and all this stuff doesn't matter because you can change it all. Uh, you just wanna make sure you're 16.9. Uh, and then you wanna name your, um, name your project so you can find it later. We're just gonna call this Z Flip 3 case. And we're just gonna hit next. 
All right, then you come to this screen. As you can see, you got like a little scrub. Let me get back in frame here. You get a little scrub right there. Uh, and then you have all your different um, places where you can get um, your data from. And we are gonna go and look in the Send Anywhere folder right there. Uh, as you can tell, I use this a lot. We've got a lot of different videos that I've used here um, that uh, I've used for the videos. And here's the video we just downloaded. And now we pop it in there. And as you can tell, uh, there you go. And so you can scrub through this and you can see how smooth that is. Uh, it works really, really good. Um, and then what I usually do is just kind of play through it. Hello everyone, Clint here. Uh, today I want to talk about the Z. And I remember um, remember this pretty well. So there's actually not a lot of edits this is uh, to do in here. Look at the phone. Uh, because I actually did this mostly in one take, which is uh, <laughs> uh, uh, really unusual for me. But you kind of just scroll here. You can play. Um, and, um, the, the volume comes out really well. Spigen. I don't know, I'm on a Spigen and we're going to talk into this uh, speaking case here. Um, but let's say I did want to edit something. Um, let's see here if I wanted to. And however it came out when I got it, it it's really good. So I thought I'd talk about it. Uh, typical two case, uh, two piece case here. Uh, um, let's see if I can find a place here where I want to go. I might edit this out of this video. <laughs> um, there we go. Let's, let's see if I can take that off. So it looks a little bit better. Um, but as you can tell, jeez, uh, um, it looks really good. All right, let's just say I want to take that wiping part out there. Um, and I, let's say right there, and then you can just click that, and then you have your cut button right here, and then I can just split that. So now we have two different frames or two different things. And so I can kind of just go to the part I want to get rid of and then click the thing there and then i can just hit uh, trim to the left of playhead and now that is completely gone so let's see here we play here um, but as you can tell really good um, yep it looks takes it right out no problem um it really should be the only editing i need to do i sometimes at the, the end i get long-winded um and oh, i have to chop off some there. to the end and uh, we'll see you on the next one and then you got to leave a little bit in here, but we're going to chop the rest of this off. And if it's too much, we can fix it really easy. So now we're going to trim right. So here's the play play lead uh, playhead here. I'm going to trim just trim to the right of it, and good to go. We go to the back side. Um, this button here is you can just kind of cruise right to there, and now we can add another media file, uh, which is my ending right here. So this is my uh, my. I guess exit the video. I like to give it about 10 seconds uh, to give you all plenty of time to um, to uh, subscribe, right? Because that's where my little subscribe thing comes out. Uh, give you guys plenty of time for that, so you can subscribe. Uh, let's do a transition. As you can tell, there's tons of there is a bunch of transitions here um, that you can use. As you can tell, there's just, I mean, there's just a bunch of them. Let's uh, let us use one I've never used before. That one's pretty cool. I like that one. Um, so let's do that one. And so now, when we, we watch that, it should... Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Should go right into that. And then, let's see, I don't, don't like that there. And so then we're just going to go to the beginning. And now, while that's coming down, let's put some audio in here. So... There's tons of audio in here, uh, recorded songs, albums, all this stuff is, uh, you can get it for free. Uh, you can download it to your device. Uh, I use this particular one right here and we're just going to add that. Uh, it adds it from that point and then goes all the way through. Um, as you can tell you, when you heard that play, it's really loud. And so I, I actually come over here to the volume button and bring that back down to like 50%. Otherwise, uh, you guys will go and, deaf uh, we'll you <laughs> when you're watching that, and I don't like that. So now the sound syncs up with the video. And then the other thing I really like to do here is thank you guys. Uh, and so now we're going to do a layer, uh, and we're just going to do a text layer. And I like to thank everybody uh, for watching, and I really do appreciate uh, everybody that watches my videos. 
Uh, and then see that gives me the little tag right there and then I can just put that here and make it a little bit bigger. And then come over here and we'll change it to black. And now we have a black, thank you. And so now that'll come, that should pop up there nicely. Uh, let's click that again. Let's go to the in animation. And I'm just gonna kind of fade it in there like that or you can pop it in there, which I like the best because I really wanna say it's thanks. Uh, however, I like it to stay on there the entire time. I wanna thank you for the entire time you're watching the video, that end part. And now let's see what we got and, here. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Got the end. Boom, thank you popped in there, voila. Fantastic, great. So now we just gotta go to the front here um, and uh, do, the, do kind of the same thing, but uh, a little bit different. We're gonna do the uh, intro, I guess, which is still the same thing, but now I only do this for like uh, three seconds because uh, I don't want you guys to click off right away by just staring at my, my logo. Um, so we do about three seconds there and just drag that over. And again, we're gonna drop in some audio, the same thing. Uh, but you can tell this is a pretty big clip of audio and we're not gonna have that audio in the background the whole time. Uh, let's see, so I like to shrink that back in there. Let's see, about three seconds. So I usually like another three seconds into the video. So let's go right there. And you can actually feel a vibration when you hit that, uh, hit that spot, uh, works pretty good. Uh, so now we're gonna, what we're gonna do here, whoops, what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna fade this in and out. So we're gonna start at 50% again here so you're not deaf. Uh, then once I get to the right there where I start to talk, I wanna drop that. Um, uh, let's see here. Actually, we wanna use the uh, volume envelope. So here we want to drop this to um, 50% at the beginning. And, and, ooh, so yeah. Okay, we gotta leave this at 100 because my envelope's gonna be all screwed up if we don't. Okay, now we got that 50%. Now when I come over here to where I'm gonna start talking, uh, so you can hear me, uh, we're gonna come down, same envelope, and now we're gonna drop it down to 10%. And now we're gonna go to the end right here and we are gonna drop that down uh, same thing down all the way to 1% and we should get a nice fade in there. Let's see how it does. Hello everyone, Clint here. Uh, today I want to talk about the Z Flip Not 3. too bad, not too bad, not too bad. I think it came out okay. Um, I might want to change this 10 to maybe a 15 because that was a little, little, little low, a little fast. Hello everyone, Clint here. Oh yeah, I like that. Uh, today I want to talk that's about good the there. Um, that's it. Um, that is now, uh, let's see here, we got a four minute, 44, 54 second video uh, edited up and now all I have to do is export this. Um, and let's see, we're gonna export this guy and we're gonna do 4K at 30. So all we do is hit that button there. I usually leave the quality in the middle. I honestly don't know the difference. Um, I still gotta do some research on that. So if you guys, uh, if you kind master, if you are a kind master expert, does it really matter if I go high? All I know is when you go high, the, the size of that file gets gigantic. Um, so it doesn't, I don't know if that's worth it or not. Anyway, you save video and it's gonna start saving. And believe it or not, on, on this particular small video here, it's gonna save uh, really quickly. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the video for now and we'll come back when it's finished. Okay, we're back here. And that took about uh, two and a half minutes to two minutes, 40 seconds, not too bad. Um, puts it up there, it shows you, you can play it now um, and uh, just move on, you're pretty much done. Uh, so we can close out of that. I'll show you where that, uh, where that saves it at. Go to my files and we go to internal storage and we're gonna go to movies. Interesting, right? It's not videos. So yeah, so don't look for it up here in videos. It's actually in movies and then Kind, kind Master has its own, um, its own folder. And so then we can um, just find it in here 
and uh, do our thing with it and get it uploaded. Thanks. Yeah, I hope that was uh, kind of interesting for everybody. I, I think it's pretty neat how you can use your Z Fold for just about anything you need, uh, need it to use it for. Um, so and that is definitely one of the things I use uh, all the time. So thanks for your stand to the end and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.